technique helps the clay to change color to white once it is fired. It also makes the beads very firm such that if you drop them, they don't crack easily. Yeah, so pick up this way. After 7 or 8 hours, you open this manually and get slabs of clay. Cut them into small pieces and use the bag loop to compress all the air. And the clay comes down from the end form of a big sausage, which is very soft and use that to make the meat for the pottery. <laughs> This is a mold. They use this to measure the size of the clay they are going to use. So the mold, this is a mold, and all this weight on the mold. We normally add water into the clay for it in here. After one hour, they pour out the excess clay, so it forms a layer of thickness. And in two hours, if you get of this mold, you remain the shape in here. So for instance, like this tray was made out of this mold. And they use a knife to remove the excess clay, then they use a sponge and water to smoothen it, and it turns out like this. And before firing them in the kilns, we normally have to air dry them for two weeks on the shelves to get rid of all the water and the moisture so that when you fire them, they don't crack it. The mold, using the mold and the jigger machine, we are able to make. I love you. Side plates and dinner plates. So he first uses that to flatten it, then uses his hand, then later uses a machine to shape it like this. And it draws, don't be dry. See, like, that's already started. And then he also throw them on the wheel. Like, that's the wheel. You have a wheel here. So, then. Okay. Bring them in a wire, use bricks to separate them, stack them up all the way from down there until they're full. And we do all the frying at night because it becomes too hot in here. After painting the Variety of beats. This is where we keep it. <laughs>